I'm Naoto Ogawa, a 17-year-old nerd and a student at Koiwa High. I'm aiming to be a playwright and spending my days studying. I see. This kind of theme is interesting. Hey! Hey! Manga can be pretty useful, huh? Hey, don't ignore me! What? I'm kind of busy right now. Don't give me that. You're just reading manga, you nerdy loser. If you're not busy, go buy me some bread. No way. Why do I have to? That right there is my classmate, Marie Fukuda. She's the flashiest girl in school and has quite a fan club among some of the guys. But she's got a bit of a personality issue. If that's the case, shall I go buy it for you? In return, will you hang out with us? Excuse me? Seriously, you guys are annoying. I'm not your babe, you know. Eek! Sorry for bothering you! Jeez. Uh, as you can see, she's got an incredibly sharp tongue. Normally, there'd be no connection between a flashy girl and a nerd like me, but for some reason, she's always getting on my case. And there's a reason for that. I'm home! Welcome back, Naoto! I love you! If you cling to me, I can't even take off my shoes. But I was lonely, you know? Marie and I are fiancés arranged by our parents. In reality, we're living together like this. Marie's mom is a well-known actress that everyone knows. Marie, inheriting that bloodline, was a child prodigy actress from a young age. By chance, I was also a member of the same theater troupe, but with few child actors. Marie and I became close friends right away. She's like a real angel! Marie, I love you! I love you too, Naoto! Let's get married! Oh my, how delightful! Seeing that, Marie's mom suggested that we become fiancés. And to my surprise, my parents were totally on board with it. Afterward, upon graduating from middle school, Marie's parents decided to move their base of operations overseas. Although we had discussed studying abroad, Marie wanted to stay in Koiwa City. Considering the dangers of young people living alone, and with the wishes of both sets of parents, it was decided that I, as her fiancé, would live with her. Naoto, it's snack time! Need your love! Aren't you a little too different from when you're at school? Hmm? Don't you know that's just acting? Is that so? You're mean. Being a toxic tongue character is to ward off guys, you know. Actually, I'm just a girly girl who loves frilly clothes. I know your hobbies pretty well. Sorry, what I said earlier was a joke. Mmm. But seriously, you're a completely different person at school. <laughs> it's a brilliant performance, isn't it? The key is to have a cold gaze like when you see a pest. It looks like a new door is about to open for someone. By the way, if it's okay to talk about being fiancés with everyone, then I don't need to put on that act, you know? Uh, that's... sorry, but I... Just kidding. Even that was just an act, you know? Well, it's nice this way. A secret love kind of feels like Romeo and Juliet, don't you think? Guess I made her feel a bit uneasy. I wish I could confidently say we're engaged, though. Well, the character is fine as it is, but what about the outfit? Huh? What about it? I mean, couldn't you be a bit more low-key? Like, maybe it'll avoid some misunderstandings, you know? I don't care how others perceive me except for you, Naoto. But... It's all good. You should know the reason why I dress like this, right? Well, that is... The reason it's still that thing, huh? On a certain day as the school festival drew near, our class has decided on a theater performance. Now, we just need to assign the roles. Yeah, yeah, I'll take the lead. I mean, I'm aiming to be an actor, you know? This guy is Chato Yabasugi, a handsome dude known for his wild love affairs. And for the heroine role, I think Mario would be perfect. Huh? Why me? Oh, that's a great idea. With Charo and Marie, we'll definitely attract an audience. I never said I want to do it. Don't just decide without asking me. S S sorry. sorry. Um, well, let's decide on the rest another time, all right? 
Uh, after dinner that day. Phew, thanks for the meal. It was really delicious. Really? I'm glad to hear that. But I feel bad always leaving everything to you. How about we take turns cooking? N no way! I want to take care of you, Naoto, no matter what! Nah, I can't just leave everything to you like that. It's fine. It's like bride training or something, you know? W wait bride Yeah, once we graduate high school, I'll be a bride, right? We'll live in a house with a red roof, have a big white dog. Oh, and of course, we'll have a daughter and two sons. Every Saturday, we'll go on dates, and on Sundays, we'll have family tea time in a spacious garden. We'll serve cat-shaped cookies we made with the kids, surrounded by lots of flowers. Wait, she's such a romantic. Well, you know, don't overdo it. Nowadays, household chores should be shared by both partners, you know? Does that mean you're also thinking of our future marriage, Naoto? Nah, it's nothing like that. Just stating the general idea. Aw, come on, don't lie. Tell me your future predictions. Nah, I'm busy right now. Don't say that, come on. Pay attention to me. You said before that guys who read manga are lame, remember? Mmm, you're mean. I don't think that at all. Hey, about what happened during the day. You talking about the heroin roll? I already said I'm not doing it. I mean, theater is not my thing anymore. While I quit the theater troupe early on due to lack of acting talent, Marie kept at it until just before middle school. But apparently, during her time in theater, she was burdened with high expectations thanks to her mother's influence. Unable to bear that pressure any longer, Marie made the decision to leave the stage. But the moment she quit acting, Marie's mom stopped paying attention to her. Not sure if she's not interested in her daughter now that she's not an actress or if there's some other reason. Can't really tell. I guess Marie dresses flashy to catch her mom's attention. Everyone's only interested in the actress version of me. That ain't true. I'm sure your mom... It's okay, I get it. You're so kind, Naoto. That look again. She must feel lonely. I hope I can help them reconcile. And I want Marie to rediscover her love for acting. The reason I aim to be a stage writer is because I wanted her to perform on my script someday. Hey, Naoto, you're different, right? Uh, to resolve everything, it's gotta be... With you now, till I can be my true self. That's why I... Hey, how about trying out the heroin role? What? I want to see you on stage again, Marie. Well, why would you say something like that? I thought you were on my side. Screw you, Naoto. Oh, hey. I messed up. But deep down, Marie loves acting, right? Since then, things became awkward between Marie and me. Ugh. Guess I gotta talk to her properly again. Hey, Marie, you got a moment now? No! I'm doing some plushy maintenance in my room. Uh, wait a sec. Uh, she didn't have to dodge me so blatantly. Meanwhile, at school. Hey, Marie, got something to talk about. Huh? I don't have the time for your chat. Don't get in my way. Eep, it's, it's, sorry. Exactly the look she gives to pests, and this must be the cold gaze she talked about. A few days later. Now, let's decide the roles for the play. Wait, can I say something? Wh what is it, Marie? About the heroin role. I can do it if you want. R really That'd be a huge help! Wow, what brought about this change of heart? Nothing special. Just a whim, you know? Oh, don't be shy. Come on, deep down, it's all for my sake, right? After all, I'm the main character. You're so off, and it's really getting on my nerves. <laughs> You're scary. Even if she says that, I'm sure she did it because I asked. Thanks, Marie. Then I'll... A committee chair, I'd like to write the script for the play. Is that okay? <gasps> huh? If no one else wants to do it, I guess it's fine. Hey, Naoto, can you really write an original script? Just so you know, 
I'm the main character, so don't embarrass me, all right? Don't worry. I've been studying script writing for a while now, so I think I can come up with a good one. Actually, I'll show you what I got. Oh, you're pretty confident, huh? Well then, I'm looking forward to it. After that, I was totally immersed in writing the script, at home and even at school. Wait for me, Marie. I'm gonna make this place super awesome for sure. <sighs> Thanks to that, Marie and I ended up with way less time together. And then, a week later. I did it! Woohoo! Heart-pounding Koiwa Blue Mountain. It's a story about an angel who comes down to Koiwa City and falls in love, keeping her identity hidden. Now, let's see how the class reacts and make some adjustments. The next day, I had my classmates read it, and the response was pretty good. Now, we officially started rehearsing for the play. That was amazing! Marie, you're such a pro at acting! N no I think it's normal. Hey, hey, did you all catch my mind-blowing performance? Awesome, right? I got too much talent, man! Marie, can I ask you about acting? Uh, if I can help, sure. One night. Huh? It's already late. Ah, the taste of this coffee I shared with you. I'll never forget. Hmm, maybe I should put even more feelings into this part. She's working so hard practicing till this late. Thanks, Marie. Hope that other thing works out too. From then on, the stage prep went smoothly. On the day of the school festival. Marie! You look so cute! Am I in heaven right now or what? I you're all exaggerating. Marie looks gorgeous, no doubt. The leading duo, the school's prettiest boy and girl, created a buzz, and the stage was a big hit. But halfway through the play... Oh, how beautiful! My heart's about to burst thinking about you! Please accept my feelings! Improv? There was no such line in the script! Now, let's share this passionate embrace! Huh? What are you... What the heck? He's going overboard! Ugh! Now, close your eyes, and... <gasps> no! Whoa! Careful, the backdrop's falling! Hurry up and hold it! Oh no, the stage is a mess! Let's lower the curtain for a sec, quick! A few minutes later... Sorry, the whole play got ruined because of me. Nah, don't worry about it, we'll take a break for now. Let's resume in ten minutes, cool? Huh? You still want to continue? It's already a mess anyway. Yeah, no kidding. You ruined the play, Marie. You've embarrassed me. <gasps> hey, watch your mouth. Besides, you screwed things up with that weird improv of yours. It's my own way of directing, all right? I thought it'd spice things up. And it's no big deal, just a little kiss. She's playing around anyway. <laughs> huh? Marie playing around? There's no way. Don't you dare joke about that. Hey, why the sudden... You don't even know how hard Marie's been trying! You totally messed up everything for her! Ugh, you know nothing about Marie either! I know, cause I'm Marie's fiance! Uh, Naoto! W what You and Marie? What's this about? For real? Is this like a TV drama or something? Hey you, get lost! Ugh! Hey hey, tell us more juicy details! Um, what should we do now, Joe? Oh, she's called him by his name! Oh my god, Marie, you're so adorable! Hey, hey, calm down a sec. We're still in the middle of the play! Ugh, I'm the star, man! The face of this play! Can't let him treat me like some random dude! What face? You're just a lousy actor, dude. What? Yeah! You ignored all our advice, including Marie's. G uh, come on! I've had enough! Screw this play! You guys can handle the rest yourselves! Hey, where are you going? We still have the... Whatever, man! It ain't my problem! No way! The lead's gone! This is bad, right? We can't continue like this! What are we gonna do? Stand in! Can anyone replace him? What about Naoto? Huh? 
Oh, right. You're writing the script, and the lines should be in your head, right? I... I'm the lead? Uh, but my acting skills... No worries. You'll do great, Naoto. Cause you're my prince. Marie. So let's give it our best together, okay? I'd love to do this with you. Uh, okay, got it. If you say so, I'll give it my all. And right after that, the play resumes. Doing this together brings back memories of when we used to do plays as kids. Feels kind of nostalgic. Why are you smiling like that? Something funny? Nah, it's just that I'm happy to stand on stage with you. <laughs> I'm super happy too. The play goes smoothly from there. But the original ending, where the heroine confesses her love to the protagonist and returns to heaven, takes an unexpected turn. Hey, remember? We used to spend time together like this back then. That line wasn't in the script. Could this be an improv? I've loved you ever since that time. Back then, at that moment, I fell in love with you. Uh -huh. And my feelings haven't changed. My heart's still pounding for you. Really, we were in this together, because I fell in love with you back then, too. Thanks for letting me stand here once again. I feel like I'm starting to love theater all over again. Glad to hear that. I love seeing you enjoy being on stage. Though it was a bit different from the script, the play ended with a huge bang. And after the play... No, wait, Mom? Why? Actually, I secretly invited her... Wanted you two to reconcile. Uh, okay. I'm so sorry for all the pain I caused you. I put you through so much. Mom! I realized that the reason you quit acting was because of me. That's why I thought it would be best for us to live abroad together. But you turned that down too. I thought being around me just reminded you of acting, so... You actually worried about me all this time? Of course! You're my precious child! Your acting today was absolutely fantastic. Thanks, Mom! Phew! I'm glad. I guess they've made up now. By the way, after that incident at the play, word spread throughout the school and Chado has become completely quiet. On the other hand, Marie, now that everyone knows she's my fiancé, has retired her sharp-tongued, flashy girl persona. And now... Hey! I heard you're aiming to be a playwright! That's amazing! Nah, I'm not that great. Mm. Remember, Naoto is mine, okay? Don't you forget that! Uh -huh. A few years later, with my first script as a playwright, Marie returns to the stage. She grows to become a top actress, surpassing even her mother. But that's a story for another time. Hi, it's me, Mel. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too.